AC circuit with inductance, capacitance and resistance in series. LCR circuit or series resonant circuit. This is our circuit diagram. An inductor with inductance L, capacitor with capacitance C and a resistor with a resistance R are connected in series and EMF is applied and AC EMF is applied e is equal to E0 e raised to G omega T. We have to find out current. Let A sinusoidal alternating EMF E is equal to E0 e raised to G omega T be applied to the series combination of the LCR. Here the vector impedance of the combination is sum of three parts. First one is R or resistance due to the resistor R. Then J omega L or inductive reactance due to the inductance L and 1 by J into omega C due to the capacitance C. So here I is equal to applied EMF divided by vector impedance of the circuit here. The applied EMF is E0 raised to J omega T and the vector impedance is R plus J into L omega minus 1 by C omega. Then we take 1 by R plus J into L omega minus 1 by C omega and multiply its complex conjugate with the numerator and the denominator. So we get R minus J into L omega minus 1 by C omega divided by R square minus J square into L omega minus 1 by C omega square which is equal to R minus J into L omega minus 1 by C omega divided by minus j square is plus 1 so r square plus l omega minus 1 by c omega square so we can write it as r by r square plus l omega minus 1 by c omega square minus j into l omega minus 1 by c omega divided by r square plus l omega minus 1 by c omega square we draw the impedance triangle or complex plane representation plot the real axis and imaginary axis then plot r l omega 1 by c omega l omega minus 1 by c omega and the resultant of l omega minus 1 by c omega and r is z so from this impedance triangle we can uh, write cos theta sin theta and tan theta as cos theta is equal to r divided by root of r square plus l omega minus 1 by c omega square sin theta is equal to l omega minus 1 by c omega divided by root of r square plus l omega minus 1 by c omega square and we get tan theta is equal to l omega minus 1 by c omega divided by r. Then substitute these values to the equation we get 1 by root of r square plus l omega minus 1 by c omega square into cos theta minus j into sin theta. Cos theta minus j into sin theta is e raised to minus j theta. So e raised to minus j theta divided by root of r square plus l omega minus 1 by c omega square. Substitute this to the equation of i. So we get i is equal to e0 e raised to j omega t into e raised to minus j theta divided by root of r square plus l omega minus 1 by c omega square which is equal to e0 e raised to j into omega t minus theta divided by root of r square plus l omega minus 1 by c omega square which is equal to i0 e raised to j into omega t minus theta that is i0 is equal to e0 divided by root of r square plus l omega minus 1 by c omega square. So here the em of e is equal to e0 e raised to j omega t and the current i is equal to i0 e raised to j omega t minus theta. So we can say that this equation shows that the current lags behind the applied voltage in phase by an angle theta. And the angle theta is given by tan inverse l omega minus 1 by c omega divided by R. So this is the graphical representation. The variation of current or EMF with time is plotted. And this is a complex plane representation. I0 and E0 are plotted. There is a theta degree lag from the EMF to the current. And uh, ER, EL and EC are plotted. 
the E0 is the resultant of EL minus EZ and ER. So E0 is equal to I0 root of R square plus L omega minus 1 by C omega square. Then there are three special cases for this LCR circuit. First one is if L omega greater than 1 by C omega, the phase angle theta will be positive. We know L omega minus 1 by C omega will be positive. And the current will lag behind the applied EMF and the circuit behaves as an inductive circuit. The first uh, complex plane representation is for L omega greater than 1 by C omega. Then the second case, if L omega less than 1 by C omega, then L omega minus 1 by C omega will be a negative quantity. And we know the phase angle theta will be negative and the current will lead the applied EMF and the circuit behaves as a capacitive circuit. The second figure shows the complex plane representation when L omega less than 1 by C omega. That is the current leads the applied voltage by an angle theta. And the third case is if L omega is equal to 1 by C omega, the phase angle theta becomes 0. That is L omega minus 1 by C omega is 0. So the phase angle becomes 0. The EMF and current will be in phase. So the potential difference across the inductance and capacitance are equal but opposite in direction and hence cancels out and it behaves as a purely resistive circuit. This is the complex plane representation for the third case that is L omega is equal to 1 by C omega. In this case the circuit purely behaves as a resistive circuit. Under this condition, the peak current will be maximum and which is given by I0 is equal to E0 divided by R. We know I0 is equal to E0 divided by root of R square plus L omega minus 1 by C omega square. L omega is equal to 1 by C omega. Therefore, we get I0 is equal to E0 divided by R. Thus, in this case, when L omega is equal to 1 by C omega, the EMF and current will be in phase and the current will be maximum. And this case, the circuit is said to be a series resonant circuit. And the phenomenon of maximum current is called a resonance. So, at resonance, the frequency, the resonant frequency F is equal to 1 by 2 pi root LC. We get it as follows. L omega is equal to 1 by C omega. So, at a resonance we can represent L omega R is equal to 1 by C omega R. Omega R square is equal to 1 by LC. So, omega R is equal to root of 1 by LC. So, omega is equal to 2 pi F. So, we get F is equal to 1 by 2 pi into root LC. This is called a resonant frequency. This is the curve of current against frequency for different values of resistance which is called a resonance curves. As the resistance in the circuit is reduced, the resonance curve becomes sharper. So the sharpness of the resonance is defined as the ratio of the resonant frequency to the difference of frequency on either side of the resonant frequency at which the current in the circuit reduces to 1 by root 2 times its value at a resonance. So if F1 and F2 are the frequencies of the circuit at which the current in the circuit reduces to 1 by root 2 times its value at a resonance, then we can say sharpness of resonance is equal to FR divided by F2 minus F1 or omega R divided by omega 2 minus omega 1.